During our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk just a little bit about satellite imagery and how farmers can benefit from using that on their farms. Well, it's been something that's kind of fun to play around with a little bit, and, and we're still trying to get a hold of it for our farm to, to take the maximum benefit out of satellite imagery. But right now, you can look years back at different images throughout the year of your fields and your farm to see what's going on. So you can say, you know what, how did my crop in this field respond to the summer of 2001 versus how did it respond to this year's weather. And you can see where those spots are in the field that have some issues. But the other thing with satellite imagery is satellites are coming over you know, every few days over your farm. So you can have pictures throughout the season to say, all right, when did I start having a problem in this area of the field? Yeah, let's just talk specifically for some of the stuff we have looked at on our farm where we were using SatShot and just going to their website and accessing that information. And as the season went along, you could see how things were shaping up. So there are a lot of people that say, well, I don't think I really need satellite imagery because I've got yield maps. First of all, not everybody has yield maps. Even on our farm, we only or have... Or uses them. Right. We only have one combine that has a yield monitor and we run three combines sometimes so that doesn't always work out the other thing is let's say that I wanted to buy a new piece of ground and you don't have any information off that piece of ground if you wanted to use something like SatShot and you could see the satellite imagery you can go back for several years and see what really happened on that particular field and that might change your bidding price quite a bit because if you see there's a whole bunch <laughs> of sand right in the middle of this field that you can't really see from the road you might not want to pay that five thousand dollars an acre anymore it was interesting it's just looking at our township and looking at some of the different fields and we just yep. picked a day in July. We were looking right around the 20th of July and we noticed in certain fields where the fertility values on our own farm were a little higher than other areas, we noticed, wow, those fields were doing a little better. They were healthier through the heat of the summer and other areas had problems. And yeah, we well, could look around at every other field in the township or the county or the state if you want to and look at the other fields and say, wow, right across the road, they were having more problems than us. Or this field over here looked really good too. Boy, that must be good ground over there. So anyway, as a farmer, you can take a look at these satellite images to get an idea what's going on in your field or in other fields that you're considering buying or renting for the future. But another thing, just to take it a step further, is you can actually make maps from these satellite images and bring that into your own farm and change your seeding rates. You could do variable rate for seeding. You could do variable rate for fertilizer application based off these satellite images. So there are a whole bunch of things that you can do. And in, in my book, we're probably just at the tip of the iceberg with this whole thing. I think the technology is just going to get better and easier and faster as time goes on. But even as it stands today, it's something that a lot of farmers are looking at and using on their farms. Well, the cost is really reasonable, and that's one thing. If you're just learning about a new technology and it's really expensive, that's tough to do. But for a cost of as low as a dollar an acre on some of these things like satellite imagery, you can go back and look multiple years back. I know one of the farms that we were looking at uh, this winter kind of doing some analysis on one field, we were looking back to 1999 and seeing the different years and boy, we're always having a problem in this area guess what? We need to improve the drainage there. And that's one of the areas we're improving drainage by doing some drainage tile on. Well, satellite imagery is something that is very important for many farmers around the country, especially if they've got weed problems. With satellite imagery, sometimes they can see where major weed issues have occurred. And one of those weed problems could be our Weed of the Week. We'll tell you how to stop it later in the show.